We begin our story in a quiet neighborhood. Nothing exciting happened, though it could. This is the house of Amos, a small boy, where he stayed inside and sat without joy. He would sit all day and sit all night. This for him was quite all right. His mother would plead, go outside in sorrow. Amos replied with, Maybe tomorrow. He peered outside, twas not so great. Laughter from children Amos thought he would hate. A knock at the door was heard. Who could it be? It was a blonde girl who asked, Hi, could Amos come play with me? Amos slumped in his chair, not wanting to go, playing with this girl who he did not even know. For once in his life, he wanted to give it a try. He walked to the door and began with, Uh, hi. Hi, come play with me. I'm having a tea party and you get to be the prince. Uh, hold on a sec. Amos ran up the stairs to change his drab clothes. When he came back down, the girl turned her nose. She handed him tea and the silence began. Amos finally took a sip. The tea was quite bland. The girl spoke first, and the silence died. Her first question was, So why don't you ever come outside? I don't know. Amos' boredness began to unfurl. The young lady then asked, Have you seen that odd new girl? Who? I saw her shoe squirrel with an arrow the other day. I think it was just plain awful. What's her name? How should I know? She hasn't said a word to me. Rude. Just like that, that new girl walked by. Amos stared at her. She appeared to be shy. This young girl, named Lily, walked into the woods. She wanted to be alone. She felt misunderstood. An arrow she shot hit a strange creature. It fell into the grass with its cute furry features. Lily felt quite bad for what she had done. The creature's friend growled, sad about his loved one. <coughs> Lily ran to help. The creature screamed like a jungle cat. Lily simply said, I'm sorry, I can, I can fix that. She wiped off the blood off this sad little friend. She brought him to his feet, with his leg on the mend. Alright, I'll see you guys later. She said without caring. As she walked, she looked down, and furry shoes she was wearing. The creature begged. Twas a convincing plea. Lily figured this out and said, You guys want to follow me? Uh, okay. But you gotta stay out of my way. She hid behind a tree, looking at this new boy. She shot an arrow for his attention, a dramatic ploy. I can't believe I missed, she said with disdain. The creatures had a plan for the boy Lily would gain. What are you guys trying to tell me? Lily questioned. They began to mime out a scene to give Lily a lesson. Let's do it! Lily and the furry people got right down to it. What was that? Can't we have a simple tea party anymore? This girl had no idea what she was in for. Gosh, it's getting late. I better go. I have a lot of things to do. But you just got here. You haven't even eaten the cookies yet. She handed Amos a cookie, which he kindly accepted. A scream was next, which made the girl turn her blonde head. She said, looking around. She didn't notice that her green tea was now brown. Amos tried to hide his sly face, while the girl spit her tea all over the place. 
The creatures and Lily laughed. Tee hee. What did you do to my teeth? What? Nothing. I don't believe you. I'm going inside to brush my teeth. Don't you dare think about leaving. She went inside and slammed the door. Lily waved to the boy she had won in the war. Amos stared for a moment, then got up and ran. He tripped, for he was a clumsy young man. Now together, they did not know what to do. Lily started talking to this boy who was new. I'm Lily. Do you go to my school? You live next door, right? I'm sorry. I forgot my manners. What's your name? I'm Amos. So that's it? I looked at an arrow and had a, some weird creatures do a favor for me, and all I get is, uh, I'm Amos? Sorry, I kind of like being alone, you know? Yeah, I get it. But do you like archery? Yeah, I love it. My dad used to take me to the field to shoot crows, but... But what? Nothing. Forget it. I'm sorry for whatever happened. That doesn't mean that you should sit in your house all day and do nothing. Look, you don't have to be lonely anymore. Why is that? Because you just made a friend. Here. Lily then handed young Amos a bow. He made a friend that day. And a blonde foe. They walked off together into the woods, deciding that anything but loneliness was good. Cool. I like that. 